Hey everybody, I'm here with Rachel Donaire, the wife of Nonino Donaire. Rach, how are you? Good, I'm doing good. Alright Rach, how's life for you uh, as a mom handling, handling two boys? Oh my god, the boys, they grow fast, they learn fast, um, they pick up everything. Um, so, you know, we, we're taking the opportunity because they're, they're such sponges right now um, to groom them being good citizens, good people. Um, so, it's fun, it, it teaches you about yourself. <laughs> okay. As you know, Manny uh, decided to come back after being Tim Bradley. Were you shocked at all that he decided to come back? Yeah, actually I was. <laughs> Why were you soon, I mean, I thought, you know, Senate was going to be uh, a very tedious job. And I, I thought he would come back like maybe in a year. I didn't think it was only going to be a two-month layoff. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is. People have their own reasons for coming back. Um, you know, when you're a fighter, it kind of sticks with you. Even if, you know, you say you're going to retire. There's so many fighters that have to come back after retirement. So. In event, my impact on Jesse Vargas, break down that fight. That fight's going to be interesting. Um, Jesse, uh, Jesse's a great friend, great guy. Um, He's a champion, too. Champion. Uh, been through a lot of experience fights. Tall. Very tall. When I first met Jesse, I was like, she's this guy's really tall. And, you know, Manny and Nonito are not that that much different in height. So, um, I was surprised at his height. Um, I think he's going to he's gonna try to outbox Manny. Um, uh, and But then Manny has, the, has way more experience than Jesse, of course. I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how this, um, how, if Senate distracts him from his training, how much he's really giving into training. I mean, this is the first time he's, when he was in Congress, he, he wasn't really in Congress too much that had to, you know, take up too much of his time. But, I mean, Senate's taking him a, a lot of his time. So, I mean, it's such a, you know, such a toss-up between those two because of the fact that he has a full-time job now. Senate's a full-time job. It's not something that he just tossed aside. So, um, it just depends if that distraction is, is a big part of, of Manny's camp. How excited are you for your husband to finally fight on uh, fight on Manny's on the card? I am so excited. I, I God, we've been with Top Rank since 08. And, you know, we, we thought then in 08 we were going to, in 09, 10. And, you know, after a while, like, we, we've asked Manny to be on his card and he had no problem with it. You know, I, I don't know why uh, it was such a big thing with Michael Ponce to block us from the card. He said it wasn't a smart financial decision and X, Y, Z. But, I mean, it is what it is. Now we're here. You know what I mean? So, um, I think it, like like Aram said, this is a long time coming. The Filipinos that have supported Manny and wanted them to be on a fully Filipino-packed card, like, they're finally getting it. But I think it should have happened a long time ago. All right, Rachel, thank you so much. Appreciate it. You're welcome.